Let's build a local vector database from user input. From a list of URLs. And from files within a folder. To take in user input, we have created some functions in altools.py file and we are importing them. Then we take the user input, save it to a JSON file, embed it and save it into the same file, turn it into a data frame and search over it with cosine similarity. Just copy any information you like, paste it into terminal and let it save and continue. When you are done, type exit, and we are now embedding the documents. The documents and their embeddings are saved into the input.json file. We can also perform search and get answers from GPT based on the context. Then we can ask a question, retrieve most similar chunks, and get an answer from GPT. Alternatively, we can create a vector database from a list of URLs by loading these URLs, which are present in a file called URL underscore list, by extracting the content, writing that knowledge, splitting the text, then chunking it and embedding that, creating a data frame, and then perform a search. We can also query over it using ChatGPT as well. Let's see the embedding from URL in action. We are extracting content from URLs and archive. We are embedding documents concurrently and simultaneously. And then we can ask questions. And we do retrieve the most relevant chunks. Alternatively, we can chat with our database. based on the documents that are embedded. Code files for this project will be available to Patreon supporters. Link is in the description. We can also embed files from a directory. Here I have a PDF file and a text file. We can embed the files and also search over them as well. To make all this possible, we are using OpenAI embeddings from Langchain, also the recursive character text splitter from Langchain and Cosine Similarity from OpenAI. We do a save input to a JSON file, which takes in user input and saves it to a JSON file. We have a get embedding function, which embeds the documents. We do import thread pool executor to be able to embed the documents simultaneously. This is the embed chunk function, which calls the get embedding and our embed documents in JSON file starts up a thread pool executor and retrieves the embeddings, not sequentially, but in parallel. And we have a search embedding function, which does simulate the search over the data frame and prints the results and return the response. We have a function to split the text and a function to extract from URLs, extract from archive, and extract content which manages these two functions. We do have a write knowledge, which actually writes the extracted content into a knowledge from urls.py file. And we do have a class to manage our conversations with ChatGPT. It initializes the messages with the system message, takes in user input, manages the messages, gets a response from GPT, and returns the responses, and it implements streaming responses. These are all the functions we are using in we have we have created in tools.py file, which we are importing into our URL embeddings.py file and the other files as well. This is the file to get user inputs. I do have this commented out. As once you have embedded the documents, you don't need to embed them anymore, and you can use the rest of the code to talk with the context using GPT with the embeddings. 
and the file to embed from directory is very similar as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Please check out the llmpapers.op.railway.app which summarizes every new large language model related paper from archive every hour. You can also find and search for my videos at echohive.live and find the code download links. If you do like the videos and would like to support me or want to have access to instant code downloads, then the link to my Patreon will be in the description. I do have 100 plus source files for uh, projects and also I do create some exclusive videos with patrons as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.